Okay guys, welcome back. So I'm going to tell you this wee bat mayfly. This one's called a hint of pink. Now the hook and the vise is a Camazon B175 in size 10. And we're going to start off using the, the Glow Bright Floss number 11. And we're going to use this for our body. And our tail. So we'll just run on the Glow Bright Floss. Remove the, the waist tag end. In the tail, this, this is some. This is about uh, about eight strands of the glow Ray floss number eleven. And just catch that in, and then work the floss down. Now, there it, you can't put a tag on the fly of the the same glow Ray floss, but uh, I'm just going to leave it off. In the rib, and some. Oval gold tinsel and size 14. Now, this wee pattern will work during a, a mayfly hatch, but it's also one of those patterns that you could use for Daphnia feeding fish just because of the brightness of it. Now, I'm just going to work the floss forward, creating our body. And then we'll come in and just throw in a two or three turn whip finish. Put the floss tight and trim away the floss. The thread, just to finish off. Whoa, you need thread 801 red. I'll get that red eventually, guys, or get it on the camera correctly. So I'm just going to work the, the thread on to there. The body haggle. It's just a nice golden olive. This is just a Chinese cock haggle. So take away the rubbish from the bottom. Stuff for this up to the hook. Trim with a couple of turns. Trim away the stem. And then we'll just palmer this down. I'm making two turns at the shoulder of the fly. Just a mesh day, three turns down the body. You can't have it heavier if you like. Now I'll leave that up to you. And just to make it heavier and more bushier, just keep your turns closer and basically put more turns down the body. So four turns of the oval silver tinsel. Bring away the tip. Bring your Oval silver gold tinsel, sorry, up in front. Catch that in. I'll trim that away. Then just bring your thread back up tight against the haggle. Now the first front haggle, you're looking at a nice baby pink or powder pink sometimes it can be called hen haggle so just offer this up to the hook a couple of tight turns just fold the tip back come in break the tip away now we're about three turns of this because we want the the nice colour of the pink to come through. Just at that point there. Follow this around with my thread. Nice tight turns heading down towards the eye of the hook. Should be able to break away the haggle. Nope. Just trim it away. And then work my thread back up. And then for the front haggle, you're just looking at a golden pheasant rump feather. Back 
the favours to reveal the tip offer this up to the hook room with a turn and then another turn that locks it in and as you can see there are like plenty of space sort of way to play with just fold the tip of the haggle back and work your thread back up over the top bring away the tip and then we'll just fold and turn two should be enough just that point there Next, take turns of thread, fold back the stem. Just build up your head, keeping your thread tight, and bring away the stem, and then just come in and just slice in a whip finish. Just building the head up a wee bit. Pull the thread tight, trim away your tiny thread, and there you go, guys. That's the the hint of pink. Now, first coat onto the head. We drop a super glue. Just be careful not to touch the hackle fibers and then we'll just clean everything off make sure the eye is clean we put a wire on my desk and there you go folks that's the the hint of pink octopus style pattern for the mayfly now, like i say it's that nice it's that bright you get 100 percent but fishing that as a point fly or a middle dropper for daphne of feeding fish as always many thanks for taking the time to view the video it is greatly appreciated if this is the first time watching one of my videos please consider subscribing it just helps the channel grow and until the next time guys be good if you can't be good be careful and um all being well I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.